Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for part number 19 of Let's Play The Sims for the Art Majors. And we are back where we left off with Christina right after she became a master artist, which is actually the idea of her completing her painting skill and becoming a 100% level 10 of everything. So basically, all she has left to do in life is create a final masterpiece. So I think we're going to go ahead and have her paint a little bit more today. She is the only one awake mainly because everybody else has to sleep because they have to work in the morning or some other idea. Jerrica's actually almost done. I don't think she has a job either. Nope. But she does have to shower. So it looks like the girls would be up by themselves. And they do, they do get along pretty well. It's just uh, Melanie and Jerrica will never see eye to eye anymore. And it's basically a hate relationship with the two of them. So we have... Oh, okay. So I guess a bunch of people are getting married for some reason today. Don't know why at 12 midnight, but um, I guess they are. So we have Christina just eating some dinner. Have her clean up her plate as well. And then we will have her clean up the house a little bit. She can use the bathroom and pee like a champion. She can still take a pregnancy test. I am not going to because I want to be surprised whether or not she does end up getting pregnant by Brandon. So... We will see. Uh, but she's going to go ahead and just pee like a champion for herself. And then we'll probably have her uh -huh. um, do a little painting as well after she cleans up the shower. Because the shower is disgusting, you guys. And I guess you can take a mud bath or something in your own bath or something like that. I don't know. You may have to upgrade it. But I think you can take a mud bath in your own bath at home. I'm not sure. It may not be these tubs, though, that you can do it. But... We're just going to have her clean up the shower a little bit in her heels. Like, you guys, she's in her heels on her hands and knees cleaning up the stuff. Like, come on. But we're going to wake up Jerrica so she can get ready for her life and try to work on her photography skill. Why is she feeling sad still? Drifting left. They didn't do anything. Like, get over yourself. If there was a way for me to get rid of this mood, I would just because there's no way they were doing anything. Like, come on. Like, get over yourself, please. So Jerrica's just getting in the shower, getting herself ready for the day. She should be almost or done cleaning. So we're going to have her paint up a whole nother masterpiece, hopefully. Let's have her do a... Uh, not abstract. Let's do something we haven't done in a while, which is a pop art. We'll do a large pop art, see what she can make out of that. And then Jerrica, you need to... Um... Be a parent to a child with three friends. Okay, so that means we need to have the fr the kids go out and kind of make friends. I mean, Aiden has already started making friends. He's got a couple different um, kids that he could be friends with. Not freaking Elmer, who aged up on him out of nowhere. Really? Jerrica, stop crying in the dang shower. Like, come on, get over yourself, please. Look at that. Her relationship with Matt has kind of drifted, but they are still soulmates and whatnot. So let's have her come over here and start doing some baking. Uh, actually, we're not going to bake. We're just going to have her serve up something. Serve up some garden salad. Uh, it's going for dinner because it's still 1 a.m., but we'll just give her a salad. She wants to flirt with Matt, which is great. That's fine. And she wants to be mean to Melanie, of course, because, again, they'll never get along with each other. But she is doing a different pop art painting than I have seen before. Definitely have not seen this one. But hopefully she has made that masterpiece. So we can go ahead and just continue on with her. Get her moving on with her life. And then move her out, I think. Uh, because basically she's done with what she's done with anything. And she just needs a storyline to go with her. So I think maybe her and Brandon will get together. Not really sure. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Whether or not she should get with Brandon. Because it's not going to be anytime soon that she's going to get with them. So, uh, you're getting a phone call? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, Matt. Nina here. I just want to let you know that I just had Nyla, a beautiful baby girl. Um, 
Is this Matt's baby? Is this Matt's baby? What? Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Jerrica would kill him if she found out about this, you guys. That just changes everything. I could have swore that she wasn't having a baby anymore. I thought she already had a baby. Oh my god. I wonder if she knows. Does Do you guys think Jerrica knows? Is that why she thinks her drifting love is apart? That she heard that Nina was having a baby? And that she knows that Matt and Nina were friends, like, close, but maybe Jerrica did know. Maybe she had an idea about this. Oh, wow, that changes up a lot. I think maybe Jerrica did know. She had to have known. Does she know Nina? No, but she knows Don. Maybe Don told her. Does he know Don? He does. But, oh my god. They were soulmates too? They're a sweetheart lover? Oh, oh. I think Jerrica knew, you guys. I am almost positive that Don Lothario told Jerrica that Nina was having a baby and the last person he ever knew her being with oh, was was Matt. Oh my god. I that has to be it. That has to be why. That is amazing, you guys. That is crazy. Nina had a baby girl named Nyla. I think Matt's going to have to go visit her today. He doesn't work. So maybe he'll have to go visit her. What is she doing? Coming down to chat with Jerrica and gossip a little bit. She's going to let her know. I think Jerrica's letting Christina know that Nina was having a baby. And that she was supposed to have the baby any day today. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead, friendly. Uh, let's um gossip or not. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Jerrica's just gonna go ahead. She's gonna go ahead and take a picture of Miss. Um. What's her nuts? Uh. Take a photo of. Actually, we'll do it on the photo studio. Why not? Let's change the backdrop to sky, maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a photo of Christina. Just kind of kind of try to relax herself a little bit. She does, she is still sad about Matt and that Nina and him possibly had a relationship. She doesn't know for sure, but maybe, maybe Jerrica is going to go visit Nina and find out about this. Maybe, oh! Dang, I like this picture. I really like this picture. We're going to do a large one. We'll do that. Oh, okay. Let's zoom out a little bit as well. Okay. I really like this picture of her. Do that one. Like that. Add a nice little photo. A black and white. Oh, damn, girl. Damn, she's looking good. That one, too. Oh, my God. Those are good pictures. Oh my god, so I think Jerrica's gonna go ahead and visit Nina. Matt does know, but she's just gonna I think she'll just go out for the day, kind of take her camera, go out, take some pictures, and stalk people. I mean, she I mean, who knows? She's definitely gonna go out and take some pictures. I mean, there's plenty of pictures for her to take and of many different things, but we will come to that later on today. Let's go ahead. Can we cry on her shoulder or something or uh, share brilliant ideas. Just kind of calm herself down and just talk with Christina a little bit. Um, and then let's uh, get to know her a little bit. Try to become friends with her. 
Try to see if she can get on Christina's side. See if Christina can find out something about it. See if Matt will tell her or something. She's going to do a lot of detective work. She might as well be a freaking detective at this point. But Jericho's going to try to figure out what is going on with this. Because she did... She did have this gut feeling from Don telling her stuff. So she's definitely going to have to figure out what is going on with him. Yeah, she's unemployed. Level up your charisma. Great. Gossip a little bit more. And then... Uh, talk about cooking a little bit. Looks like all the boys are awake, too. He's sad. Why are you sad? Shmoo, shmoo, shmoo. You're insane, little boy. You insane, little boy. I want you to come down here. Uh, you can use the shower because you have to get ready for school today. You can take a shower in here. And then... Grab yourself something to eat. Uh, we'll just grab a quick meal of cereal after you shower. He's up here going to the bathroom. He needs to shower as well when he's done. And just get them starting to get ready for school today a little bit. Okay. And he's taking a shower and then he'll get something to eat as well. Adrian's passed out. He just has to eat when he wakes up. But uh, she is not going to sleep in that bed. She will go ahead and sleep in her own bed because she does have one. Uh, why are you in her bed, bro? Okay, you need to get up, please. Because you need to let Christina sleep in her bed. She can't sleep in the bed with you. Sorry, Adrian. I know you don't want to sleep with your brothers, but you're just going to have to for a little bit. Uh, go ahead and take a little nap on the bed. And then Jerrica, since it is 5 o'clock in the morning... She's going to go ahead and see if Nina is actually home. Uh, she doesn't have any bad feelings towards Nina right now. So I don't know how it's going to turn out if she visits her. But we're going to go ahead and have Jerrica go, um, go see what Nina is up to. So we will travel. Now let's see where Nina lives. I think she still lives with her mom at home. Uh, she may have moved out or someone may have moved in. I'm not really sure. But let's just go ahead and see where Nina is at. And just see if she can confirm or deny some of these things. And who knows what Jericho will do if she finds out. Who knows? And she's farting up a storm. She's so nasty. Okay. That's Daughtry. Okay. So it looks like everybody is home. Um, it's not saying there's any babies. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Let's go visit the Caliente household and see if Nina has any kind of information to uh, give us a little bit. Okay, so we are at the Caliente household, and it looks like we can just walk on in. Yeah, looks like we can just walk on inside. I don't know why. I guess she's kind of sneaking in. Looks like Nina's here. Is the baby here? Up oh, there is a baby. Is this Nyla? I think it's Nyla, but I think we're going to go ahead and come in here. Is Don home? Please tell me Don's home. I think he is. Uh, he's in the bathroom. He is in the bathroom, but we're going to go ahead. Come inside. The door was open, so she's like, why not? Let's come in. We are friends with Don, so it's not like it's a big deal. But she's in here. Looks like she's going to go ahead and try to find Nina. Try to become a little friendly with her to try to figure out see what's going on in Nina's life what's what's the haps in Nina's life and of course Nina's gonna tell her she just had a baby she's very happy she's always she's deep down wanted a baby it's not her first choice in life but uh, Nina can suffice if there does happen to be a baby and we're just gonna go ahead and get to know her because Nina can definitely handle taking care of a baby every once in a while but of course, Nina's going to tell her that she had a baby. So he, she's going to come up here and try to see what this baby looks like. And obviously, she knew. Nina's hot-headed, which is great. Just a great trait to pass on to your kid, probably. Hey, Jerrica. Stop talking to her. Go upstairs and check on the baby. You know it's Matt's. Like, you know. You have a strong feeling that this is Matt's baby. So you're just going to go ahead and confirm or deny Okay, go on over here. Nope, Don, get out of here. Okay, let's 
let's go ahead and um, talk to the baby. Kind of look at her. Um, rock her and just kind of act like we're nonchalantly talking to her. And I think what we're going to do is kind of... Um, we're going to go ahead and try to uh, sneak a picture of her too. Just to see for some cross references whether or not this really is his baby or not. Okay. Oops. Put that there. Okay. Then I'm going to take a picture of her. Be like, oh, okay. I can't get any lower, but okay. Oops. I guess we could have chosen a better picture, but we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Just take a couple of them. Just make sure there's that chance of us knowing. Brighten up the picture because this is a little, little dark in the room. And then we'll do one more bright one. Perfect. There we go. So now we have, hopefully they're good pictures. Let's check them real quick. Now we have a little evidence to know that there is a baby in the house. Uh, can I open these? Um, these ones, I think, are the baby. Yes. That one's blurry, of course. That one's good. That one's a good one. And then that one's a good one, too. All these are good except for one, I think. Or two. Yeah, they're all good. Okay. So she may confront uh, Matt with this. She may not. I'm not really sure what she'll do with it yet. But we'll have to find out here um, next time whether or not. But she's going to go ahead and talk to Don. And she's going to go ahead and share a secret as well with him. Uh, just him, not the whole family, please. Uh, where is it? I know I saw it. There it is. Perfect. She's going to go ahead and share a secret with Don a little bit. And uh, see what he knows. Uh, he's not a committal. Obviously, we all knew that. It's Don Lothario. He's sleeping with Nina, Nina, Dina, and Katrina. So it's like, it's not a big crazy thing. Okay, so she's definitely going to talk to you. Okay, good. Everybody left the room. Now we can finally talk in peace. No. No. Gossip with them, please. No. Everybody left the room. Okay. She is like, she's like, I'm pretty sure that's Matt's baby. Just look at the picture. It is 100% Matt's baby. There is no way that can't be Matt's baby. And look at him. He's like, oh, my God. He's like, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to tell you, but I guess I guess it's better you found out now than him trying to hide it from you, Jerrica. It's definitely better for him to know now. Then, bef then later on. That is crazy. Okay, so everybody's off to school, which is great. Melanie has to go to work. So she has plenty of time to think about what she has to do with this. Uh, she's not really sure if she's going to confront him right away, kind of contemplate about it, or what she'll actually do with this information. But it's probably not going to either end up for good of them. She did want to have this big happy family, but... You can't have a happy family if there's a baby out of wedlock. And Jerrica's mine. In normal life, yes. But in The Sims, of course... Oh, someone downloaded the house. Um, but of course, in Sims life and Jerrica's idea of a family, you can't have that big happy family with the family out of wedlock. I don't know. Maybe Jerrica will just leave and be like, you know what? I can't do it. Maybe she'll stick around. Maybe she'll force... Matt to leave? Like, she's going to keep the house? Matt has to leave? Like, what? I don't know. Maybe she'll just completely leave on her own. I have absolutely no idea, but I think I actually have to wrap up this part right here. It is getting a little late in my time, and I do have to edit these videos and get them up for you guys. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and are excited to see more of what's to come now that we have this whole new baby drama going on in this. And that totally brought a whole new twist. I didn't really have a big storyline for this part um, planned out, but that whole baby being born and Nyla Caliente coming into the picture, it changes the whole dynamic. And I'm really going to have to think about what is going to happen 
with this family. I don't know. Will Jerrica leave? Will Jerrica stay? Will Jerrica try to work out? Or will Jerrica just be like, you know what? Screw you, Matt. I'm taking the kids and I'm going. You can have one. We'll have split custody. Like, we'll give them the choice. Tell, let them know we're splitting up. Like, who wants to stay? Who wants to go? And let it be that. But for now, I'll go ahead and let you guys go. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below as well, what you guys think should happen. And I think that's it. So if you guys did like this video, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up on it. If you guys are new to my channel or if you've seen a couple of my other videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you are new or you have not done it already, go ahead and hit that button. And I will see you guys all back on my channel for another video of The Sims or Batman. I don't really know what I'm going to film or not, but I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.